Hey guys, I hope you're doing fine. This is Luis from Phone Arena and today we're going to bring you five random tips and tricks that can make the time spent with an Android phone in hand all that better. If you don't know how already, then we'll key you in on how to banish unwanted contacts to the voicemail zone, soft reject calls, make use of the Android dictionary, stop Chrome for hogging precious bandwidth and memory and let everyone know who your phone belongs to. Tune in, it will be fun. First things first, you can banish someone straight to voicemail. People that you're not keen on talking to for whatever reason do play a part in everyone's life. This doesn't mean they have to be hard to filter out of your phone. Simply open the subject's contact card and look for the option All calls to voicemail. Any inbound calls made from the unwanted person will be shut down and pointed to your voicemail. Next, you can silence calls with soft rejections. If you are busy or at some occasion that simply won't allow for answering calls, Android gives you the option to send a quick text message letting your contact know that you will call back when you are free. To make use of that clever feature, go to your messages app, enter the settings menu and look around for the quick responses or message templates function. There are some pre-made ones and you can roll your own. Next time you're called up, simply use the can't responses in whatever way your device maker envisioned it. On some Android phones, it may it takes a single swipe. Next, you can add your favorite words to the dictionary. If you and your friends love inventing new words for amusement, then you must have noticed that your smartphone sometimes struggles to keep up with your original linguistics. In this case, you have to use the Android dictionary. By going to the settings, languages and input dictionary menu, you can add it to your personal dictionary and have your phone recognize it and show it in the list of suggestions. This way, your phone will have an easier time handling your broad vocabulary. Number 4. How to stop bandwidth consuming page preloads Chrome for Android, which is among the most popular browsers on the platform, has the habit of preloading all page content inside the multiple tabs you may have opened. This can consume a lot of RAM memory and bandwidth, so if you have a slower device or your monthly internet allowance is nearing its end, you'll be better off instructing Chrome to preload pages only if it's on a Wi-Fi network. To do this, go inside the browser settings menu, hit privacy and tap the prefetch page resources option. Set it to only on Wi-Fi and you're good to go. And finally, here's how to make your phone tell who's boss. Personal as they are, sometimes identifying random smartphones that someone forgot at a bar table somewhere can be a difficult process. Just in case, why not use a potential good fellow who's willing to return your device after you forget it by displaying your name and phone number on its display front and center. To do just that, pick up your phone and go to Settings, Security, Owner Info. Flip the switch on the Show Owner Info unlock screen option and you're good to go. Well folks, we hope these advices were useful to you. For more content like this, come to phonearena.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Luis D, it was a pleasure presenting to you.